All right, hello everybody and welcome. This is Give Your Anxiety on the mic and I am bringing you guys the finals of the GUA December 2019 subscriber tournament. We're here on the finals. We got Kaiser Klein versus Hazard. This is the best of seven. Get fucking hyped, people. Game one's when we play on Mancheck. And uh, let's go ahead and spin that wheel. DJ, spin that shit. We're going to spin it for Kaiser Klein. See what seven Kaiser Klein gets here in game number one. Kaiser Klein getting the Dutch civilization. Let's fucking go. Alright, let's spin it for Hazel. Let's see what civilization Hazel gets here in game number one. Hazel getting the Euro civilization. Alright, so we got Dutch versus Iroquois on Manchek. Um, and man, we're going to be in for a really good stream here, guys. Finals, obviously, two incredible players. Both of them made it to the, to the land tournament. Um... And yeah, seeing some of the best players in the world right here play AoE 3. When best of seven with a random sieves and random maps. Alright, we're going to give these players a little bit of time to make any adjustments to their deck. But we're going to get going as uh, soon as these guys are ready, we're going to be clicking in game one. Kaiser typing a, a sad face in the chat, perhaps not happy with his uh with the Civ matchup here. I don't Kaiser's not the biggest Dutch player, but um, I don't think he's like too unfamiliar or uncomfortable here. And uh, and then has actually saying that he he doesn't play Euro, so uh, I think this yeah both players probably have a Civ that they're not super comfortable with, but um, it's not like they're like extremely uncomfortable with these civilizations. I would say. All right, man, getting game one here. Kaj Klein versus Hazard. This is a best of seven from the GUA December 2019 subscriber tournament. We have a $400 prize pool, uh, total prize pool. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great one here. Lieutenant General versus a Major General. Whew! When was the last time you've seen that? With a beastly colonel watching and casting. Mm. Mm mm mm. All right, here we go. We are in game one. Kaiser playing his Dutch civilization here. Dutch starting with, this is 500 gold, 100 wood, and 100 food right there. He's got a 30 coin treasure right next to him. And a couple small food, wood, or food treasures. And has it playing his Iroquois civilization in the red here, starting with the trivial. And uh, this is what, a 500 food start and then the 100 gold here. Has actually walking right past that 20 coin. Uh, gonna be looking for bigger treasures. It looks like you could probably got that. I don't know if he, if you might have uh, like accidentally walked past it, but wow, actually this he's beelining it to, towards us, and that's so lucky, honestly. So with Iroquois, like the native posts are just scouted for your for you. Like you don't need to. The line of sight's just already like displayed if you're a native civilization like Iroquois, and. So this post was displayed, and the treasure is so close to it that the treasure was was uh, displayed also. Like, has a solid treasure without scouting it. So, like, he just immediately beelined it to a 95 wood treasure. That's, like, oh, yeah, that's, that's so, like, lucky for Hazza. Like, so fortunate for him. That's quite funny. Uh, the, yeah, we're in the settlement line of sight, just basically giving Hazza 95 wood treasure. That's, that's huge. But uh, Kaiser did pick up a 35 wood, um, so not too bad, and 30 coins, so... Uh, it's not like it's, you know, and then, yeah, has actually sent his villager to get that 20 coin, which, that is actually a lot of walking time. Uh, it would have been easier if Hazard just used that with his explorer since it was, like, on his way there, but, um, decided to get that 20 coin there with the villager, so Dutch can't steal it. And now, actually, Kaiser working on a 60 wood charger, so if he gets this, I mean, um, it's gonna, Kaiser will actually have more wood in the chargers. And, yeah, it looks like Kaiser will get this 60 wood charger, so he already got, what, 35, uh, a 35 wood, so he'll be at um, it'll be at 95 wood. So we'll both have 95 wood, and Kaiser will have a 30 coin. Uh, has having 40 coins, so basically they'll be dead even with has a what up 10 coin on him in the treasure game. Ooh, and wow, native uh, treasure right here, like behind his town center. That's like that's so fortunate. Uh, 
Uh, drop this long house right here, kind of in the middle map here. And Kaiser finding another 75 wood. So Hess actually kind of taking a weird route. He is going for this uh, Cherokee Refinement, which will be pretty nice. But all the big treasures, a lot of times the big treasures are like on this side of the map. And, and then like, you know, some over here. Um, but I think uh, Hazza is like completely ignoring this side of the map and it's allowing Kaiser to get like two really big wood chargers over here. So this is, that's actually kind of a strange play from, from Hazza. Like, it's hard to believe that he didn't scout that with like the house and, and like having an alligator. I feel like he's like over scouting this. He sent the alligator this way, so he's like double, like scouting that twice. And it's gonna allow Kaiser to get another 75 wood, which is actually huge. So now it looks like Kaiser won the age one. Has a, did get that native treasure, which is always just so huge. Um, but Kaiser getting the 60, uh, or the 60, what I said earlier, and now 75 wood. So, um, yeah, I mean, Kaiser won age one there, actually. Uh, 100 XP treasure will be pretty nice here, though. And uh, Hazard does have a pretty nice army that he's building up, though, since he got this Cherokee Rifleman treasure. Um, and he is an outlaw rifleman, so th those definitely will be uh, quite nice, depending on you know how much he can use, how much he can get out of them. And there's an eighty food over here, and having the nade. Oh no, he didn't. Wait, did somebody got a native? I thought. Oh no, it was it was this guy. I think that that was a uh, the alert that I saw. Um, but yeah, he has this treasure in the back of his base, which will always be uh, can be extremely useful. So both players up to age two here on their way up here. Um, Kaiser with one bank. Take a look at his base. He built it right in front. Uh, he's going to start building some walls here with his like building, just building placement. And uh, here we go. Hezza taking the middle trading post here. So when people take the middle trading post, a lot of times that can kind of signal that they want to take more than one TP. Uh, so what we've been seeing Iroquois do a lot recently is if they build like two TPs, then they'll play like really eco focused and just go up to H3. And they'll be like they'll be super greedy. Basically, make like zero H two units, take two trading posts, like ship go you know, you know all eco shipments, and uh, and just get up to H three and kind of boom. So I think that's what has his plans going to be. He is going to move the warhead forward, so he could still ship like four Kanye possibly just to disrupt the the Dutch eco. Uh, so we we'll have to see if he goes for that, and then and then still goes for a boomy play. He is moving his explorer forward though, so he could actually. He's not like moving back to build a trading post at home. Um, so getting a bit of scouting information here. Second bank is up for Kaiser here. And we have a stable going up for Kaiser here. Hazza is going to scout this. There we go. The War Hut is going up for Hazza here. Has a still didn't get this treasure, which uh, I don't know. It feels a little bit unfortunate, but I guess he still has, he has like multiple scouts, so it's not that big of a deal right now, I suppose. And actually snaring the um, Kaiser Clans Explorer, who is very low, so that's always a nice pickup. And yeah, Hazard did ship for Kanye, but he shipped them at home. My man. A little bit painful there, my man. Thank you, India Bot, for the host. Yeah, ideally, when you ship for Kanye, you want to ship for Kanye at the Ford War Hut so they don't have to run as far, but um, it has kind of messed it up slightly. He did actually train, you know, he did Big Button, so he did for Kanye and a Big Button. Um, so here we go, Bank Wagon did just get up. And let's see how much um, trouble these Kanye can cause Kaiser Klein here. Could have went for the furthest villager, uh, nearly misses one. There's This is probably the most vulnerable villager right now, Kaiser pull, pulls him in though. And now sieging down the house that's being built, so get, it got up, but only with half HP. Do we have a batch of four Hustlers out for Kaiser, however, and potential... He doesn't have enough resources for Minmen unless they're on the way, which I don't believe they are. So, nope. Uh, has not taken a chance, so hanging around too long, though. And here we go. He actually shipped six Tomahawks, so he's being aggressive. Um, and going to work on the, the bank, or uh, the market here. Iroquois War Chief, uh, we'll look at that pull trick. Very good uh, control from Hazza there. Kaiser, good attempt to, to snipe the War Chief as he was a little bit out of position. Uh, but Hazza just pulled him back immediately. And um, I don't think Kaiser wants to really be taking this actually. He's trying to get like little hits in here and there, which he actually kind of is doing really well. So that was like a pretty even trade, maybe and good for Kaiser. Um, and there we go. Kaiser's Explorer does go down though. 
And we'll have to see what's going to be popping for Kaiser here. Three more Hussars do pop out. And doesn't have the resources for Miniman. I don't believe they're on the way. Uh, but could get a Miniman here in a little bit. And this could go good for for Kaiser if he gets like a Miniman pop. Um, so he needs a little bit more resources. One villager does go down. He's struggling for food. It's so annoying when you're like 10 food away from calling Miniman. He really needs to put some villagers on food so he can call it. Now he has enough for Miniman. But now Haz is kind of retreating. I think Kaiser could maybe bait that a little bit better. House is still low so uh, Haz is going to finish it. And Kaiser building a barracks back behind the CC here. we got a bit of a lag spike here. Hopefully, every uh, I feel like Kaz has been having uh, some internet issues lately. Hopefully, everything's okay. Hopefully, Kaz is still there. Good. All right. Now, Kaiser targeting the Iroquois War Chief. And um, see potential minimum pop. I'm not. There he goes. It is does arrive. War Chief is um, now goes down, and uh, this is going to be looking good for for really really good for Kaiser. Eight pikes, maybe an overcommitment there, um, as he's going to you know pushing this army back with the uh, Hus and the Miniman. He could have potentially saved that or, or tried to just get up to like I don't know age up or something, but. Um, yeah, like right now these pikes aren't doing anything, and it feels like he could get you some use out of them. Yeah, maybe just go siege the TP. Um, but yeah, you really want to put these pikes to work, because if you don't do anything with them, then it's just kind of like a waste. You know, you could have shipped something else. Turns you like 700 food or um, just something more beneficial, or like save the shipment. <clears throat> but he's going to send them to siege down the train post, so that's actually pretty good. It didn't like work out that great where like pikes like they didn't get a good catch or anything, so it didn't look like they're like they were going to be super useful. But now has uh, now Kaiser Klein is getting some pretty good use out of them, so kind of making the most out of like bad situation where pikes maybe are not the super best shipment, but still now using them to kill, kill a trading post, which is really nice. Killing one villager there, TP is gonna maybe go down. He's gonna lose some pikes here though. Oh, and yeah, Kaiser's... Oh, that's a, that's rough. He really kind of had... He'll probably go back and snipe this, but 36 HP. We'll see if Hazard is, like, on top of him and tries to repair, like, immediately. He has no wood, though, actually. And uh, now Kaiser's looking to go in with three more reinforcing Hussars. Pike's going cover mode to tank. And a couple skirms here trying to snipe the Tomahawks. And I think this is going pretty good for... Um, Kaiser here. We'll have to see if there's any, any reinforcements for Haza. But 700 food now out for Kaiser. Yeah, I think Kaiser is going to clean up here pretty good. Um, it's pr I mean, it's a pretty even fight. There's still like quite a bit of Tomahawk, so the Hussars don't really want to completely go in. And, and there's only two Skirms, so they're like extremely slowly uh, sniping the Tomahawks. Hussar is now getting on top of the Ayana. And now cleaning up the... And there we go, has is just actually deleting his army and tapping out there. GG. Game one going Kaiser Klein here. Good hold there and uh, and some good aggression actually. And I think Hazard was he was macroing to age up there, so uh, yeah, that, that's unfortunate. He was, he really wanted to age up and um, Kaiser just pu pushing and kind of forcing a fight at the right time. Where it, it caught has a really like off guard in, in between two things where like he was going to age up but um, but he had to, he got forced into a fight so uh, well played by Kaiser Klein there yeah not sure about that rush Euro rushing uh, Dutch I don't like that well I don't know I mean it felt a bit off from Haz I I didn't like how it was looking initially. Um, but at the same time, we don't want to give Dutch a ton of time to boom, so, eh, hard to say. And then, yeah, Hez is just getting caught there with his units on Fortune Firm.
It didn't look lag. I don't know. They're saying lag. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's not on my end. It looked like it didn't look like that game was laggy. Just like the one lag spikes here and there. But um, I mean, honestly, I think it's on Haz's end. I don't like have any like extra things open. I'm not lag, and I basically never lag. Okay, well, let's get into it. Um, yeah, I was just looking to see if there's anything I can do for lag, but um, I mean, wow. there's nothing. I think, if anything, uh, incoming raid from Soldier. Thank you, Soldier. Thanks, Matt. Um, welcome, guys. We are in the GUA December sub-tournament finals, and we're about to get into game two here. So, um, All right, let's go ahead and spin the wheel here for Kaiser Klein. Let's see what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here in game number two. Kaiser Klein getting the Aztec civilization. Oh, that's actually great. <laughs> Kaiser getting the Aztec once again in my tournament. All right, and let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Hazza. Let's see what civilization Hazza gets here in game number two. Oh, wow. Hazza getting the Aztec. All right, guys, so we're going to have an Aztec mirror on to Silly here in game number two. All right, Kaiser Klein is currently up 1-0. This is a best of seven. I'm give these players a minute or two uh, if they want to make any adjustments to their deck. Get prepped. Welcome everybody. Had a pretty good crowd watching a soldier stream earlier. That was pretty nice. Oh wow, we have a lot of people watching right now. 180 people. Damn, welcome everybody. This is awesome. Yeah, so oh man, I'm so hyped for this. I I oh, shoot. Okay, we're hopping into this one. I had it um uh, I had my game down for a second. Here we go. Kyle's client clicked in. We're getting into game two here. This best of seven, game two being played on Tassili. It is an Aztec mirror. I wish you guys were around for when, I know all, not all of you guys were around when I did the original intro, but I like the intro I did, I was pretty hyped, um, the original intro into the into the first game and into the, the series here. Alright guys, we have an Aztec mirror here, Kaiser up 1-0 in the best of 7. Up top in the blue, we have Kaiser Klein as the Aztec, and down south in the red, we have Haza playing as the Aztec civilization here. Uh, so this map has seen some changes in the most recent EP patch. Um, basically, there's, these ponds are a lot smaller. The map's just more open, uh, which is, is very nice. I think overall the changes that were done to this map um, were very nice. Looking at the start, um, we're seeing Hazza building a trading post and a house. Meanwhile, Kaiser Klein is building a fire pit and a market. So, wow, immediately we're seeing uh, two very different openings here, which usually you don't see. A lot of times, like... You know when civs are when it's a mirror matchup and it's like high level players like usually they'll do like the same exact opening because you know players know like which one is better or like what's the better opening um so generally you'll see like you know gameplay being exactly mirrored for a while but not the case here as neither of these players are super experienced with Aztec. um so perhaps you know they i guess obviously they have different opinions on how to open here and uh, we're seeing two very different openings with a house and a trading post. Getting a hundred, oh, that's a hundred food. Well, it's definitely nice. Um, and yeah, Kaiser's gonna be going for a house, market, uh, fire pit, and he's gonna be trying to get hunting dogs here. 
already has hunting knives. So what do you guys what do you guys think? Go let's go to the chat. What do you think is a better opening here? If you guys think Kaiser Klein doing the market hunting dogs opening is better, go ahead and type one in chat. If you guys think Hazza's TP opening is better, type two in the chat. Let's see what, what everybody's thoughts are here. One for the market opening, two for the trading post opening. Seeing uh, quite a bit of some ones here, a little, a little pretty mixed, but primarily ones looks like. Let's take a look at the treasury game here. What are we working at? Hazza getting 50 coin, Kaiser getting 55, so basically even there. Has a hunter food, and um, and then 70 coin. Meanwhile, Kaiser 70 XP, so it looks like has a better treasures. Um, Five dollar donation from Head Killer. Thank you, buddy. Always very supportive with my streams. I appreciate it, man. And obviously with the ESOC, uh, been an awesome uh, contributor to the AOE3 community. So uh, obviously we're all very grateful to uh, Head Killer. And here we go. We have a charger contention here. 75 coin charger. Who's getting it? It goes to Kaiser Klein here. And we got a warrior priest here fighting. So yeah, this is actually interesting since you know Hazza didn't build a fire pit, so he's been using his warrior priest this whole time to like scout and help with treasures. But I mean, if he loses this warrior priest, like, uh, isn't that pretty bad? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to lose this guy. Oh man, he's gonna lose him, right? He I don't know why he was hanging around for so long. Is he just like? I think he's. Oh well, no, maybe. Wow, can the outlaw rifle and not chase him down? Maybe he's gonna escape with 29 HP, I guess. Wow, I feel like Kaiser should have killed him. Is this just me or like did Kaiser let this guy get away? But either way, he could be like a very easy target to snipe. Like Kaiser knows that this warrior priest is gonna be very low, so like Kaiser could send like, you know, two coyotes and uh and look for this guy later on and try to get a really easy snipe. Yeah, I think Kaiser right now is saying he didn't try to chase it. Um yeah, it's kind of weird letting him get away with that low HP. But here we go. <clears throat> here we go. We have Hazard with three Ford villagers. Uh, Kaiser's going to see this immediately, though. So both players are in age two. And um, Hazard is shipping 700 wood, but moving three villagers forward here. Still hasn't placed a war hut. Kaiser's sitting here waiting uh, to see a war hut. And look at this, Kaiser. Both of them dropping war huts right on top of each other, basically. As uh, Kaiser's placing this war hut on his hunt. And uh, you guys know this map, the hunts can be very far, as you were seeing from both players. Uh, Kaiser not doing the best job hurting, though. He's Now he's starting to hurt, but he's doing it kind of late. Meanwhile, Hazza was uh, more active with this hurting. So um, I think Kaiser will be able to continue to hurt these guys. But um, yeah, he kind of needs to get on top of that. And we are seeing Hazza's Explorer really low here, though. Both players shipping 700 wood, interesting enough. Um, so we have to see if unit shipments are going to start coming out now. And Hazza should have more shipments. He's got the trading post. So he's going to have another. He might. I don't know if he has one on the way right now, but he's you know closer to his next shipment than Kaiser. Uh, but um, Hazza does lose his Explorer there, which is unfortunate. But yeah, there we go. The six Puma were on the way. And I don't think Kaiser has a shipment on, on the way for him. So we'll have to see how he can deal with these six Pumas. And ooh, three um, Jack Prowler Knights here. And this is going to really threaten this war. You, like, and now um, Kaiser's tanking with his war chief. And there's a batch of uh, Coyote Runners. So this is what I was worried about. Yeah, Kaiser's just going to lose his war hut. And that is actually huge. Losing war hut for free right before the Mace were able to pop too. He's going to try to rebuild a war hut here. Mace are here, but... Now has a um, sieging the house, everybody's seeing the mace and is going to force him to retreat. Maybe he does pick off one villager there though. So he killed a villager and a war hut, which is very nice. And he ended up losing maybe like two units. Uh, he lost a coyote and a puma for a war hut and, and two villagers actually. I don't know where that second vill died, but yeah, that is huge. Kaiser saying 100 food wins a game. Um, yeah, I guess in age one, I think that increased uh, has his age up. Um, and then what was that one charger contention? I think it was a 75 coin that the yeah, Kaiser got. And that, that one that last uh, charger contention. So, um, Hazza with a fire pit now. Text completed. Uh, both of them did use their big button here. <clears throat> I 
And yeah, Hazard's just gonna have more shipments. He's got this trading post the whole time, which I, I honestly I like the trading post opening. Um, I think a lot of guys, you were, a lot of you guys were saying the market was better, but I, I like the trading post, like, especially on like a really aggressive map. Here we go, Hazard pushing in on the really aggressive map where you have to like really fight to control these hunts. Um, you're just have unit shipments, like your shipments are just gonna be rolling in that much quicker. So I really like the trading post. Um, Hazard trying to get out there with his explorer. Doesn't want to lose his explorer. He's gonna go down though here. And uh, pretty back and forth trade here, but now it's not too many Pumas left. Coyotes are still up here, trying to get on top of the mace. And Kaiser's going to have to back off here. A batch of one Coyote only for for Kaiser. Kaiser's Explorer does come back, but... There he goes, Kaiser's Explorer. Now mace on mace. A single Coyote for, um, for Kaiser there. Has the targeting the villager, killing another villager. Looking at the recalculate eco, has is at 22. Meanwhile, Kaiser's only at 18. Um, has is still on market. And now six coyotes being shipped for Kaiser. Uh, has actually doing the same exact shipment. And now Kaiser's just going to try to push on Blockhouse, but there's no way Kaiser's going to break this. Uh, he can maybe pick off these villagers. Oh, this is a nice catch, actually. But now Kaiser's coming, has his come back with his, his own Coyotes, and he's going to force a fight here. And fighting underneath the Blockhouse, there we go, there's another batch of Coyotes. Like, it looked initially okay for Kaiser, but it's always painful fighting underneath the Blockhouse. And that just allowed Hazard to get another batch of Coyotes immediately in the fight. It's very back and forth, reinforcing group from Kaiser Klein here. It's just going to depend on who has the better reinforcements, I believe. Um, but it looks like Haz is going to hold this. Yeah, the last, uh, and there we go, Haz does hold it with a couple mace still alive and two coyotes. And the clock is ticking for Kaiser. He is running out of hunt. Where's where's his next hunt? It's, you know, he's going to have to get out there and, um, and start hurting. He does have hunt over here, actually, which he didn't scout, oh, which is actually super painful. Oh, he actually resigns. Yeah, Kaiser saying he should kill the warrior priest in age one. Um, yeah, that, that definitely seemed like a mistake when he let that warrior priest get away. Uh, I think Kaiser maybe he, like didn't see this hunt and then resigned because he felt like, well, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get this. But he didn't scout this, and uh, he could have heard of that, and it, it actually would have been kind of easy to get on top of this. But at the same time, I think he's behind four villagers and behind a lot of military. And after that last engage, and just looking at score, I think he, he felt like it was over here. Um, so has a uh, evening this one up. It is one to one here in this best of seven. Pretty good play there out of Hazza. I think mean, just getting that training post, uh, being able to ship units, you know, quicker, taking map control. I liked it. I liked it. I liked what he did. Couple nice vill picks there from Hazza. Yeah, game one was on Manchek and Kaiser was Dutch, Hazza was Eero, and Hazza did like he did a really aggressive I, th I think he did kind of like a late rush, but he shipped like four Kanye. Um, and then big butt end, and then and then made more like tomahawks and, and pushed, and uh, and Kaiser just ultimately held, and then actually, then has to try to age up, but then kind of got his army caught. All right, guys, let's see what map we get here for game three. All right, game three gonna play be played on Erdurana docks, and uh, let's see, let's spin the wheel for Kaiser. Let's see what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here in game number three. Kaiser getting the Aztec civilization. <laughs> uh, Aztecs really love Kaiser. <laughs> it's gonna be so mad.
All right, let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Hazza. Let's see what civilization Hazza gets here in game number three. Hazza getting the German civilization. Oh, guys, is not going to be too happy about this one. All right, so we're going to be getting a game through here. We're going to see Kaiser as the SX, has a, as the German civilization being played on Adriana Dax. Dax. It's actually not Dax, it's Dax. That's a. I think I always thought it was an O, but I think it would make more sense for, I don't know, whatever. Adriana, Adriana Dax. All right. There's an A, not an O at the end. All right, so series currently tied 1-1 one, one here, everybody. Yeah, Kaiser definitely could have done a respin, right? Somebody uh, in the chat saying that why not respin here? Um, yeah, I mean, he's got one, some one sieve respin per series. This definitely would have been a pretty good time to use the respin, um, but decided not to. And potentially can... Um, you know, save it for a, a worse um, matchup, worse of. So, yeah, it definitely, definitely um, could have been good to use the Civ Respin here, but uh, decided to save it instead, actually. So, Kaiser's Gone playing as the SX here in the blue. And in the red, we have Hazza playing as a German civilization. And it looks like this was just a 100 wood start, so that's good for Kaiser, at least. It's not going to allow Hazard to get a trading post in age one, so Hazard going for the market and hunting dog start instead. And he's getting a bear to help him scout. Meanwhile, Kaiser Klein is about to pick up a 90 food treasure. Seeing a 90 coin here in the middle. And Kaiser uh, building a fire pit here. He's got his warrior priest dancing. And here we go. Might have a bit of a treasure contention early. Has it going for this 90 coin. Kaiser is going to see it. Has it actually backing off. Uh, it looks like he saw. Um, Kaiser Klein's Explorer. And going for... Or did he? I don't know. Now he's going for 70 wood. And maybe... I don't know if he did not see the Explorer and he just found this treasure. I'm not sure. Maybe this one's just more valuable. So he decided to go to it for this instead. Very interesting, actually. And there we go. Has it picking up a 70 food treasure. So that's going to help his age up. He got uh, 70 food and 40 coin. Meanwhile, Kaiser with 90 food. Guys are trying to track down the German Explorer. He is already pretty low HP, and this is big. He doesn't have a trading post built yet. You can't let your Explorer die. You need to build a trading post uh, when you're in transition to H2. Um, so it is very annoying if you ever lose your Explorer. And there we go. The Explorer is snared. So this could be bad for uh, Hazza. And wait a minute. What? Okay, now I'm confused. Oh, is the, is the bear just strong enough? I guess Hazza's Explorer is semi-low. Does he really need to back, back away from the bear? Is it, I guess the bear is that scary. I guess uh, I guess I, Kaiser, Kaiser's explorer was low himself. Um, I thought it was going to be good. All right, well, I don't know. Was, I feel like you should have kept attacking the uh, German explorer there, even with uh, bringing the wolf. I mean, it's more valuable to do like a lot of damage to the German explorer than to like take a lot of damage on the Aztec explorer. Yeah, hell, even pulling the warrior priest, if anything. Like, killing the German explorer is huge. Losing the Aztec Explorer, it's like, it's not, it's, you know, not awesome, but it's not as huge as losing, like, a German Explorer. So, I feel like, um, I feel like Kaiser should have kind of forced that engage. But, nope, instead of backing off here. Um, Kaiser, um, oh, Kaiser got that, no, Hazard got the 90 coin there, and then Kaiser just got that 40 X sweep. Mm, nice little native treasure over there. And this is a hunter food treasure. So Kaiser is on his way up to H2. Meanwhile, Haza is just clicking up. Kaiser is going to be in H2 like at 3 minutes and 16 seconds. Meanwhile, Haza is just basically clicked up at, 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 like the same time has the same time Kaiser Klein hit H2. So um, we'll have to see if Kaiser can you know do some damage here early before uh, Haza can get anything rolling. And yeah, like the Germans, they're just kind of a slower start. You know, this real late age up compared to the ASEC. It wasn't a wood start, so now has is just now building a training post. So Germany are, are like significantly worse when they cannot build a training post in age one. 
Uh, so that's gonna be actually very impactful here in this game. And it's just gonna slow German down like so much. Take a look at text completed. Has a you know you did get the H1 hunting dogs. Um, but here we go. War hut is going down, and it looks like Kaiser may yeah he, he shipped wood yeah. So he didn't he could have went ultra aggressive and shipped like I, don't know, I guess like coyotes or something and. I don't know, I feel like that might have been nice, because he got up so early, he could have, like, idled villagers. I don't know if, like, shipping six coyotes and just, like, idling all the eco, like, that might have been really nice. Like, what would Hazza have done? If they were, like, like right now, there could have been, even, like, 10 seconds ago, like, 15 seconds ago, there could have been six coyotes right here. Like, what would Kaiser have done? Like, he didn't have enough resources for Minman. He would have, like, every villain TC, like, trying to, well, I guess he would just sell wood or something, and I guess he, he would call Minman, I suppose. Um, I don't know, Min yeah, I mean, it would force a super early minimum batch, though. And then you could always, like, retreat very easily with, like, six coyotes. So, honestly, I think, like, six coyotes would have been nice there. Because it, it would have forced a minimum call or caused a shit ton of vital time. And then, like, it would be super easy to just retreat with coyotes. And and then that's actually huge to get the minimum out of the way early. And they, you know, I'll be, like, one HP. And you could just, like, retreat, lose, like, one coyote and, and dip out. So, I, honestly, I, I think I would have liked to see, uh, like, six coyotes shipment there. Since, like, the German age up was so late and, like, he didn't have a trading post in age one. But, nope, that's not what we saw. Um, so, has a ship in three seller wagons. He's got his two Ulans from that shipment. And now Kaiser, now Kaiser shipping six coyotes and now looking to move in. Has a, does have Ulans in queue. Doesn't have enough resources for Minimen. We'll have to see if he maybe cancels an Ulan uh, to call Minimen here. There we go, big batch of Ulans. Doesn't have resources for Minimen men, though, since he didn't cancel any. Uh, Kaiser not going to force the engage here. We just pick off one villager there, which is very nice. Outlaw guy. Oh, no, he saves him. And there we go. Um, Kaiser moving in, forcing the engage here. Villager's going to be tanking and punching. Will this be enough here? Ulans are going down pretty quickly, and still no Minimen. men. Looks like Hazard doesn't have the resources for Minmen, and all of these Zulans are getting cleaned up. And the shipment progression for Germans are just going to be, you know, it's not going to be as fast. It's not an age 1 trading post, so it's not going to be like, you know, back to back shipments as, as it would be with an age 1 TP. And now Kaiser are putting uh, Coyotes in uh, cover mode to sneak out. So all in all, I think that went really good for uh, Kaiser Klein there. Let's look at units lost. Kaiser, he did lose 11 Coyotes, which is a pretty significant amount. Um, I don't know, but that has lost seven Ulans and a Villager. Um, I don't know, fairly even trade, I suppose. Let's take a look at the Villager. Actually, the Eco is, like, quite in favor of Hazza since, you know, the three cellar wagons should have been so good. He's got all these cellar wagons. Um, 27 recalculated Eco to 22. Take a look at text completed. Um, Hazza with hunting dogs and players of mine. Kaiser only with hunting dogs. So I guess all in all, um... I guess it went good for Hazza. I mean, German Eco is just really good, you know, with these cellar wagons. And uh, But here we go, big batch of coyotes coming in, and this will be tough for Hazza to deal with. He still has a minimum, um, which he definitely will have to call here. Oh, and Puma's actually sieging down the market. So Hazza's going to have to pay re really close attention to make sure he can call minimum. His market's getting seed, so he won't be able to like, do a panic last second buy and sell for minimum. So he has, he has to make sure that he doesn't overproduce units to the point where like he can't call minimum. Because he doesn't have a market anymore, so you don't want to queue up too many units where like you can't. Oh, and he's actually rebuilding market, so quite nice, uh, good snipe there from Kaiser, forcing. Uh, it's, it never feels good that you know have to build it, rebuild a market with uh, with German. It's just a hundred wood, and, and it's always like kind of annoying gathering wood, getting wood with German. You know, a lot of times you just buy wood, um, so definitely nice snipe there. Oh, Coyote's actually getting caught really badly, and here's a doppel shipment. Coyote's really getting wrecked here, and then three dops is actually going to demolish this entire army. Oh god, this is looking really good for Hazza. Oh boy, th these dops are getting on top of these units, and they're just going to wreck. Um, a lot of Ulan's kind of going down, but now the dops are really getting in there. And, um, oof. Kaiser losing his army there. Dops on, po on Puma are not good. And uh, Kaiser's entire army getting cleaned up there.
And looking at the recalculated eco, it's actually dead even, but look at the military population in favor of Hazza by a significant amount here. War Chief getting caught here. Actually, a couple of uh, coyotes coming around. Who's knocking? Yeah, all right, sorry, a little distracted here. Neighbor knocking. I don't know who they're knocking for. Um, all right, what's going on in this game? Got some pumas being trained here. Oh, there's a lot of dops. Oh boy. Has it been forced to kind of go out on the map here a bit? Ooh, he ran out of the gold mine. Did ship 700 gold though. Guys are trying to go back and siege down this trading post. He does have a decent amount of mace here. He's going to try to use the mace to snipe these doppels. And now coming back, seeing that he wants to kind of force the fight here. Getting one dop picked off right away, very nice. And then taking another dop to like half HP there. Uh, really good snipe there from Kaiser. And now going to kill the Explorer. And Minutemen being called here, actually. Very kind of aggressive Minutemen. So Hazard is just going to try to force this fight. Calling the Minutemen um, when the army is quite far away here. He really wants to just force this fight, it looks like. Minutemen will be pretty good here, but I'm not sure if Hazard really need to do it. Another batch of Pumas right here. Hazard really wants to force this fight, and here we go. Minutemen in the back, firing away. Dops on the front line doing damage. Mace getting a lot of good hits on the Dops at the same time, though. Um, and the Aztec army is falling very quickly. And now it's just Mace left. There's still a couple of Ulans left here. They're all, three of them very low HP, however. One about full HP, but just enough to really clean up these mace, I think, reinforcing Ulan's here. Kaiser losing his entire army there. And now, um, working on the war hut. Ooh, batch of Puma, however. Gonna save the war hut. One dop, uh, for low HP dop. One on one here. Low dop versus a, ooh, war hut finished him off. And here's eight expo shipment for Kat, for Hazza. I think there was a couple more Pumas trained there. Help, some mace coming on in. Hazza, uh, Kaiser Klein, gonna try to hold this war hut positioning here. Mace now getting onto the expos. A couple Pumas here to protect them. Pumas trying to get in position. Crossbowmen. Oh, another batch of Pumas popping. Very good pop from uh, Kaiser Klein here. Just what he needed. And he's gonna hold this war hut. And he's actually now cleaning up the expos, snaring the expos, and. Um, Puma's trying to get on top of the Ulans also. Three Dops trained here. Explorer hanging out. Oh, actually five Dops. Now Puma's going to have to retreat. Seeing the Dops. Three Warrior Priests being shipped here from Kaiser Klein. Targeting the Villager. Nice pick off there. Nope, could have got another hit there. Has a sneak in a gold mine here. It's actually a lot of food back here, so that's a lot of food. That's like 2,000 food there. It's a significant amount. Um, looking at the recalculate eco, it's actually in favor of Kaiser right now. He's up two bills. Take a look at units lost. Has losing three villagers. 37 coyotes have been lost. 30 Ulans. Second war hunt going down for Kaiser Klein here. He's going to try to hold this position. And yeah, this is gonna really help reinforce the Ulans are going in, they wanna commit. Nope, more Pumas being trained here. A lot of dops though. Patch coyotes. And here we go, has a force in the fight. Dops trying to get in there, just wreck, do as much damage as they can. Mace gonna try to target the dops as good as they can. And the front line of the Aztec is melting pretty quickly here. Not gonna be a ton left to protect the mace. And just what has the needed here, Mace are now unprotected. At the same time, uh, the German army is falling pretty quickly, and like the two war huts will be enough to maybe just finish these, this army off in a sense. More, a couple of reinforcing Ulans. Um, so fairly even trade there. Has it did end up winning it, but only with a couple of remaining units. Ooh, four Ulans here to raid. This is going to be big. Oh, he's okay. Now he sees this. How is Kaiser going to deal with these, this Ulan raid? And then even three more Ulans. This is going to be huge. Oh, this is... Okay, Puma's now coming in. 
Um, they're going to get there, but not before Kazer loses at least a couple of villagers. Oh, he didn't finish off. There we go. Finish off that low HP one. Three more Rulans coming in. He could really try to micro. Yep. Go for that one. Out micro these Pumas. Find that low HP one. Two, two pretty low HP ones, actually. Three now low HP ones. Maybe even attack. Nope. Running from the two Pumas. Where those other Ulans go? Uh, I would like to see Hazard try to just kind of out micro here and find these low HP ones. There's not too many. Uh, just pull the Pumas away with one group of Ulans and then send the other group in. Um, so look at units lost there. Kaiser are losing four villagers. Looking at three calculated. Eco has is now ahead by two. And uh, you got a war hut being placed here, but that's it. Weird. I wonder how, when did he place this? Okay, is this villager right now going to try to build this? But I obviously won't be able to get it up. Get that wood back after the foundation gets canceled. Uh, looking at the military, it's in favor of Hazza, 37-19. Puma moving in, but ooh, we, they are going to see this. Villager, oh, Vil's going to, ooh, nope, pulls him back. Maybe he saves him. Maybe not. Oh, does save the villager. Another Ulan raid here, picking off another villager. And still a couple low HP villas here. I'll be, you got to be super active with these Ulan raids. I'm almost surprised they're not doing more Ulan raids. You know the Aztec Explorers are so exposed, and they don't have gray coats. They're just such easy targets to raid, and uh, there's not a ton of Puma. I'll be raiding with like a lot of Ulans right now. Like all these villagers are so far out, so exposed, and uh, he is doing a good job. He's only raiding with two. But like imagine like a group right now raiding these ones. You know, having at least two separate uh, Ulan raiding groups would be very nice. But he's still doing a good job even with just two um, Ulans raiding. And it's tough for it's tough for Kaiser to defend those because what he's he can only defend with like slow moving Pumas. I mean he could get some um, coyotes, but sixty-two military to forty-three has the pushing fighting into the tree in the trees here though. Pumas trying to get on top of the Ulans. A couple Dops are there. Dops trying to connect here in the in the forest. Another batch of mace being trained here. Force is really good to uh, prevent the Ulans from really getting on top of the units, though. Coyote combat now coming in for Kaiser. I don't think he has a single Coyote, but you know could always uh, start making them and maybe not any other good shipments to send at this point. Pretty even trade. These trades are so back and forth. He still has his foundation place, so I think he's losing the wood there. He's got to delete that. And uh, Hez is going to have to back off here. There's too many mace for the Expos, and along with Warfire. Ooh, pretty big reinforcing bats from Hazza here, but now a big batch of Pumas. Ah, man, I think Hazza really messed up by not raiding. Like, it's, oh, you know, these villas are such easy targets with their low HP. And you had so many Ulans, and they were, you could just out-micro the Pumas, like, so easily with, like, at least two Ulan groups, even, like, a three Ulan groups, just, you know, raiding from every different angle, pulling the Pumas away, and then sending the other group of Ulans in. But I think Hazza really slipping up there, not... Like, realizing how much he could have raided. Like, these villagers are extremely f exposed, very far from TC, from going anywhere. Um, even now. I mean, he's now going back in with, you know, another two-lon raid. Two-lon raid, you know, two cav raids can't always be nice and good, but, so, yeah, in some situations, it's better to send, like, actually a lot of a lot of cav. Or at least, you know, have at least two separate raiding groups. So you can pull the Pumas away with one, one group and then go in with the other, with the other raiding group. Another big engage here. As is actually forced to retreat here, and Coyote's now getting on top of the Ulan snaring, and then the Puma's getting in there. And the villagers tanking, Mace firing away here. Coyote's actually Coyote's dropping here. A couple more Coyotes left. Puma's getting on top of the villagers. Reinforcing Ulans, another batch of Coyotes. Things looking good for Kaiser here. A lot of villagers here just firing away. But we do have some more expos here. Villagers are tanking a lot. Very another just very back and forth engage. It's constantly been these like very back and forth uh, fights here with no like clear winner. A lot of expos still up and they're gonna try to track down all these coyotes actually. Kaiser is slipping up here, losing like four coyotes here. You really try should have tried to escape there, but slipped up a bit there. He's catching a villager right now. And we have cavalry hit points in for uh, Hazza. 
really late H2 here for both of these players, Germany, German H2. And uh, Kaiser, got to go back on the food. Uh, this is actually a really rough uh, food transition. Quite painful there. He's got like 20 out of those right now, basically, for walking to the next hunt. Want to try to get slightly better transitions, have like, you know, if I move some of them to the hunt sooner so that you don't like have all your villagers running out of food at the same time. Kaiser trying to claim the sun over here, place ward over here. He does, he, I wonder if he just got out this though, because he was going way over here to build it like on this part of the map. So maybe by walk, walking his villagers, I don't know if he didn't scout that earlier or because it would almost make sense to build war here. But also maybe just not has the resources. And look at this, Ulan's back raiding, targeting the low HP villagers. Has this is what Hazard needs to be doing. He needs to be like raiding constantly here. Now Warhawk going down, which is gonna be good. Obviously smart for Kaiser, but Oh a lot of both players with exposed villagers here. And this is me big engage here. Warhut is going to get denied here. Has it denying it. Has it pulling his villagers back. 600 gold coming in back to back there. 600 gold for Haza. These guys, you know, using their last shipments basically here in H2. May probably, I guess we'll see like a two seller wagon next for uh, um, for Haza. Both players staying H2. Just fighting for the resources here. Fighting for the map control. Looking at the recalculated eco. Um, basically dead. Well, has up two villagers. Uh, Military-wise, population has up a significant amount, actually. Getting more villager raids here. Let's take a look at units lost. Villagers lost. Wow, we're both actually losing about the same villagers. Uh, Kaiser losing 13 villagers. Has uh, losing 12 villagers. These two lines are going to get caught by the coyote. Coyotes. Ooh, does get the villager, though. Do we have Coyote, Coyote Combat in for those guys? Meanwhile, we have Ulan, Ulan's with uh, cover hit points. Explorer's sleeping. It is almost full HP Explorer. Should probably get him back right here, and uh, it's always nice. 400 HP tank here. Can tank quite a bit. Of course, always snare. Hopefully, you'll remember to get him. And more Ulan raids here, very nice. No war hut over here for Kaiser. So these villagers are exposed here. And there we go, the two seller shipment, two seller wagon shipment there for Haza. And now Haza's looking to push. Mm. 10 Pumas popping though. Warhut's uh, being seized down by Pikeman. Has a mixing in Pikeman at this point. One war up, one Warhut is down. Looking at the military population, we have 86 to 64. And wow, now 39 to 53. I know that two Southern Wagon shipment came in, but it looks like Kaiser must have lost quite a bit of villagers there in the last uh, minute or so. Looking at units lost, 19 for Kaiser now. Yeah, it's a 12 for Hazza. Big engage here, a lot of Pikeman. Puma's trying to. Kaiser just kind of throwing everything in here. Not too many mace. Pikeman on the front line. Ulan's trying to look to see where they can get in. Trying to find the mace. Dops there. Oh my god, this is it's so hard to call this one. The Aztec army looks to be standing extremely strong, actually. Wow. Coyote's now completely on the expos. Okay, that... Wow, that was uh, quite one-sided. I... Wow. All right. <laughs> As a tapping out, and um, and uh, Kaiser Klein taking game three here. Wow, that was insane. This was a super one sided fight. I didn't think it was gonna be like that. Um, let's look at the military population there. I'm pretty sure has had quite a bit more at the start of that fight, right? Military unit population has a was at like 86 to uh, Kaiser 67, but wow, okay, that was a uh, quite one sided fight. Jeez, I guess not enough dops. Obviously, like you know, having dops would have been huge. Oh, he looks like maybe he missed his hunts. Um, oh, has it just on a ton of wood that he's floating? He probably didn't see this hunt. Huh? Yeah, he must not have scouted this, and he was just forced to make pikes because he didn't have. 
like, I don't know, a lot of resources, I guess. Like, if those would have been Dops, he would have been much better off. Uh, but he was just struggling to get on the map at this point, floating, has, like, a ton of villagers on wood and floating a ton of wood. Ah, he just missed his hunt. Fortunate. Wow, that was a really back and forth one. Has it out gathering resources, but ends up losing it. And having more vills. Oh man, that kind of feels bad that Hazza lost that. Huge not getting onto the sun. Big mistake by Hazza just not scouting or not realizing that, hey, you need to put your villagers there on that hunt, even if they're going to be super exposed. If they can drop like a tower or two, but. At this point, he's gathering wood, and it's, he can't use it for the wood for anything. So, oh, man, if he would have been on this hunt, that, that could have been completely different. Maybe he could have got a lot more Dops trained. But, wow, good game there by Kaiser. Yeah, not being a 200 wood start definitely hurt Hazza there. It's just so different. German with a TP and age one and German with not a TP and age one. All right, let's see what map we get here in game four. All right, game four is going to be played on Indonesia. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Kaiser Klein. Let's see what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here in game number four. Kaiser getting the India civilization. And let's spin the wheel for Hazza. Let's see what civilization Hazza gets here in game number four. Hazza getting the Iroquois civilization. All right, I'm going to be right back. I actually have to get some water. Um, I'm just going to run a one-minute ad. i got to, got to grab some water before we hop into this next game. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, I'm back. Hezza actually calling for the respin here. So Hezza had Eero. Yeah, that would be kind of rough. Eero on um, Indonesia, probably not the best. All right, Hezza using his respin. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Hezza. Let's see what civilization Hezza gets here in game four. This is his one and only respin. Let's hope it's a good one. Using a respin on Indonesia is risky. You're rolling the dice here. And Hezza getting the Aztec civilization. My man, I think that's pretty good. Asset can be pretty good on CA, I think, actually. Not like, um, like they have the water dance, you know, the the boat dance. Uh, so they're very interesting. They, I think they actually can My be, like, man. super strong. I remember, like, back in the day, like, on RE, like, playing versus Aztec C, and I used to get, like, pissed thinking it was, like, broken and, like, really OP. Um, 
So I don't, but then I like I haven't really seen. I mean, people don't play Aztecs much, so you don't really see them much. But like, um, I think they do have pretty damn good C. Alright, give these guys a little time here. My man. <laughs> Alright guys, we are getting into game four here. Between Kaiser Klein and has uh a best of seven we're in the finals here of the GUA December 2019 subscriber tournament game four being played on Indonesia my man my man Kazakhan playing as the India civilization has a playing as the Aztecs here this is an interesting one you don't see Indonesia very often and um, you don't see these civs a ton it's quite interesting Aztec versus India. Both of them have potential to go see. They're not like, I don't know, the most common sea civilizations, but they both have the, the ability to go see, like, at a pretty decent ability, I would say. Um, so here we go. We have Hazza in the red playing as the Aztecs, and Kaiser Klein in the blue playing as the India civilization. So who do, what civ do you guys think is favored here on this map? If you guys think India is favored, type 1, and if you guys think Aztecs are favored on this map, type 2. So 1 for India, 2 for Aztec. Let's see what you guys think. Hazza getting a 40 coin here. We've seen a lot of 2s for Aztec. And we have market going down here for Hazza. Kaiser dropping a house. Doing some scouting with his uh, fishing boat here. And we so got yeah, fire pit, house, and a market here for Hazza. Oh, a little bit of fight here, getting the boat involved on the shoreline. Ooh, Kaiser going to sneak away with his elephant, saving the elephant. That's actually really nice. Just chops him off right next to his 20 coin treasure. He is already really low HP though, but it was a nice save. Fishing boat going to the islands. 65 coin treasures, but he's not strong. Oh wait, actually he could use the boat to get this treasure, I bet. Uh, he has one cow here. Just doing some scouting. Yeah, I was gonna say he's not strong enough to get this treasure, but he can probably work do it with the with the uh, boat. This will be interesting. Let's see how what Kaiser goes for here. Does he try to go for the sixty five point? I'm surprised he's not gonna go for it. He got his two yaks, but um, no, he's actually backing off now. I think he could definitely could have got that just shooting it with the boat, um, but focusing on other things at the moment. Looking at text completed, has a has something dogs. And it looks like we got a couple of water buffaloes being eaten here, so that's gonna speed up Hazza's age up here. Uh, so this is interesting. Like, you know, both players could go C, um, but Hazza he could also completely ignore C. And Aztec versus India on land, it's it can be a quite interesting matchup where like you know, India usually will drop a very defensive aggro and kind of play really defensive, potentially with like walls and, and uh, kind of hiding with like Gurkha and Sepoy and just holding off the Aztec rush. Um, so if Kaiser gets like too focused thinking about the C game here, he may forget about that, but it looks like he's not letting that happen. He's still going with an extremely defensive aggro, being prepared to defend a very aggressive uh, Aztec like all in rush, which may um, occur. I don't know, it looks like Kaiser may have actually back hurt it here, unfortunately. But he can start hurting the sun in, which he'll have to start doing, obviously. Uh, I just still have two elephants, which about a thousand food there and a couple berries. But this map can be kind of uh, 
you know, it doesn't have like a ton of food. I mean, he could herd these in quite a bit. He definitely has quite a bit of hunts uh, around that he could herd these in. This one's probably the furthest one that he went for, but I think he actually back herded this one. And we just have the wood trick go for Kazakhan here. Three villagers for Haza. And three villagers forward here for Haza. Looking to drop down a war hut. Where is he going to drop this? Right here. Just barely enough room to drop it in the forest. 700 wood coming out for Haza. Mark it down for Kaiser Klein. Two villagers building the aggro here. Now working on herding some more of this hunt. Haza moving his explorer and seeing what's up. What's the deal? Ooh, he finds a low HP X elephant. Oh, 15 health. Six health. Oh, there's the there's the XP and the kill. Oh, that's that's unfortunate for Kaiser Klein, uh, losing the elephant there. Guys, they're putting a lot of villagers on gold here. Um, nobody on food actually. Nobody on wood. You can drop down one more house. Um, looking to definitely train a lot of units out here. It looks like. I'm trying to get a full batch of, of units, it looks like, to fully defend. Um, he is, is he has nobody on wood right now. Potentially idle TC. Yeah, idle TC. He's just going to idle himself for now, at least. And uh, kind of just make sure he gets a, a batch of five units out. And yeah, probably had idle TC for like 30, 20, 30 seconds. Five villagers coming out from Hazza though, so it kind of uh, it's kind of working out for Hazza. Hazza playing more eco focused, and um, I don't know, just kind of forcing Kaiser to have a little bit of idle TC as he prioritizes getting units out and not being as heavy eco. Six hundred wood coming out for Kaiser, and we have a lot of coyotes on the field here. Stable going down for Kaiser. Uh, back behind his town center. So it looks like he's going to be going for a Gurkha Zam composition here. Not seeing any C come into play here. So looks like they're both playing it just like a land map for now. Potentially, if this game drags out and uh, you know gets prolonged, then you could, both players will probably eventually go on to C as, as uh, their ecos will allow it to be supported. Coyotes may find this villager. Nope. Couple upgrades here. And uh has a just he's he's okay not pushing right now. Oh, now moving in with his coyotes, and there are a lot of Gurkhas kind of exposed. Coyotes actually starting to siege the consulate, but um I don't know, he's starting to take a lot of damage would be yeah, I think he just needs to back out there. Um Export should have been coming in for Kaiser as he's dropping in his consulate. And here we go. Has a looking to push in from every angle here. A lot of coyotes being trained here. We'll probably see some Zams popping soon. As there's no, not really any anti cav. May see um, Ottoman Husser is coming out though. Looks like, was that two Seapoids just trained there, I think? Or were those the two walking around? Here we go. A lot of coyotes and. Um, Kaiser's going to have to get some units out here to defend his Gurkha. See if we can get a potential Minutemen call. Some uh, Almond uh, Minutemen or something. But, wow, these uh, Kaiser's are getting on top of the Gurkha. And, oh, this looks painful for Kaiser. He really needs to get some units popping out here. He hasn't gotten anything from the Council. Now just putting it on the Almond Consulate. But it, it definitely is delayed quite a bit. He could have done that a bit sooner. There's the Almond Minutemen. But they came a lot later than they really should have. Is, uh, he wasn't really prioritizing it as much as he should have there. Coyote's now getting on top of the, all the army. And now, you know, the Minutemen, they arrived, but the Gurkha are all, are all already dead. So they're not going to get as much value out, obviously. It could have done much better if they were, if they were, you know, arrived like 15 seconds sooner. Uh, but ultimately, Hezza's, I mean, Hezza did get a pretty good win there, killing a lot of Gurkha. But just a couple of units remaining here for Hezza. Take a look at how, what is this game looking like after all of that. So has is just backing out with like a couple, three, two coyotes. Um, oh, well, pretty good reinforcing batch there. Uh, thirty villagers. Oh, for Hazza, Hazza's at thirty compared to Kaiser Klein's twenty-six. Kaiser does have a wood trickle, 
but he is down four villagers and down military by a pretty substantial amount right now and like his entire eco is actually idle and now just trying to get back on resources so this is looking quite good for kaiser he's got to continue to herd these hunts in and the entire eco is just idled here for kaiser and he's just yeah i don't know if there's anything he can do right now he's got a single villager gathering Every villager inside town center right now. Has is just gonna continue to keep up the aggression and look at this. Kylie's in cover mode just to, so they can hang around and tank. Foreign logging coming out for Kaiser. Agra and TC is doing quite a bit of damage, but um, you know obviously idling Kaiser a significant amount. There we go, all of his villagers popping out there. Oh, did Kaiser send the uh, Ottoman Minmen? Or the villagers? Looks like he must have sent the villagers as he's uh, actually up um, four villagers now. And he has two Witcher goes. Has a moving back in. Continuing to idle. While taking, you know, quite a bit of damage though. And yeah, this, this is a painful thing. He doesn't have any Pumas. Like, oh, here's four Sours popping out and a batch of Minmen. Like, Keza was walking around dancing with his units for so long as he was idling, but if he if his army was more Puma-focused, he could have, like, seized the Agra kind of for free, as there's nothing for Kaiser to defend there for a while, but now just arriving with the Pumas. Um, gonna ultimately clean up the Minimen and these Sours and a single Zam being trained there, one Gurkha. Yeah, it'd be nice if, if Haza can't afford to mix in Pumas and, and try to start sieging. Um, otherwise, he's, he's kind of just been walking around with uh, Mace and, and Coyotes for a while there. I mean, he was idling, but he wasn't really able to do any damage to uh, you know, to the aggro or, or the stable or anything like that. Kaiser now sending his villagers back on the resources here. He is Kaiser is up five villagers, and he has two wood trickles. And he looks like he has more eco upgrades also on his villagers. Uh, Hezza now getting placer mines, but Hezza with more military population right now, and he does have more of the map. Ooh, look at this. Hezza positioning his boat right by the hunt. Did he train a monkey? Can he? Okay, apparently he can train a monkey. Uh, what? <laughs> what does this guy, okay, what does this guy cost? A monkey just popped out of this boat. I am a little bit confused. Um, he's going to get targeted down, though, getting a little bit of scouting information in. But we just saw a monkey pop out of that boat. I don't know, that was a little that was interesting. I, I'm going to have to go to the chat to, 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 to uh, get some information about that monkey. Three warrior priest mainship for Hazza here. So he does have four warrior priest dance and five seaport coming out for Kaiser. And uh, Kaiser backing off here, struggling to get on the resources. He is not, he's getting on this hunt, though, so that's, that's okay. Um, still behind the military by, by a pretty significant amount, though. His eco is better. Uh, healing up his elephants to bring back to full HP, which is always very nice. Oh, boat fight. Ooh, there goes Haz's boat. Kaiser holding on, though, and he's now getting all of his villagers. He's getting back onto this food, so um, getting his eco really stabilized here. And yeah, he's up six bills with two Witcher goes, so. I mean, I, I don't know, it's, it's really close, but I think Kaiser's in the lead here. But at the same time, he has a decent amount of food here. This is probably like 1,500. So there's like 400 in each of those. Um, he's got a decent amount. Uh, but after that, he will really have to get on the map. Ooh, he has his boat still. You know what, he could have done this earlier. He actually should have done this earlier. Like, imagine just when Kaiser had, like, half of his, like, all every single villager in the town center. He could have put, like, ten of his villagers in the boat and just put them right here and, gather, and gathered this food. And, like, been completely safe. The only thing would have been, like, is if, uh, you know, Haza, like, the chance that Haza would have saw that would, would probably be very slim. I mean, well, he could maybe see the dead deer and then, like, just drop off, like, ten coyotes. But I, I think that would have been really nice if, if Kaiser did that. And then he would have had like half of you know his eagle gathering while still having like ten villagers in the TC, and that actually would have been huge. Let's see if he goes for it now. 
He's like, yeah, now he's going for it, I think. <laughs> he does still have his hunt over here and hunt over here, but... Um, yeah, <laughs> that's actually funny. <laughs> Not how he's doing that. And he's going to the island as he just ran out of the hunts. And uh, yeah, there he goes. Dropping off a lot of villagers. These are really upgraded villagers, too. And so he actually ran out of his gold mine. So he actually went there really for the gold mine. But he does have food there, too. So yeah, Kazer is up six villagers. And he has two wood trickles. So which, you know, that feels good. Kazer getting, trying to, and you know what? Kazer realized he killed Hazza's boat already. So now these villagers aren't even threatened. Oh, but here we go. Has actually mixing in a uh, dock and now working on some boats himself. But actually training canoes. Still a very close one here. <clears throat> Has he getting the map control, holding down the hunts. Really, he's really looking for those villagers. He sees that Kaiser's out of gold, so he's got to be wondering, like, where the hell is are the villagers? Oh, God, he did it, dude. <laughs> I predicted this whole event happening. Oh, God, this is actually painful. So that's high IQ from well, I'm, from both players, like, honestly. I'm surprised he didn't drop off more because now, now Kaiser's going there with his military probably. Like, he should just imagine putting, like, every coyote you have here, and then it would have for sure cleaned up this entire army. But... It would have cleaned up all these villagers, but this is still actually a huge raid. Oh, and he has to back off the fishing boats. <laughs> meanwhile, oh my god, meanwhile, Hazard's just pushing in on the main base. He's trying, he's just got the, <laughs> he's got the Zams in here. Oh, I think they're going to get out, though. Zams do get out, but they might actually be stuck. The boat's probably going to go down. Meanwhile, at home, a lot of action going on. And there goes the boat, now the Zams are stuck here. And they can't defend the Gurkha. <laughs> oh my god, more canoes coming out. And <laughs> guy's just stuck. He's got a Zam stuck on an island. And I think Kaz is going to win C. Like, just take over C right now. Kaz, there's nothing on C. And, and we just got a bunch of Zams stuck on an island. Oh my god, now Kaz is dropping a dock. Kaiser, uh, quite a bit of, quite a lot of villagers on berries here. So he doesn't want to push out on the hunts here. Looking, wow, so a lot of going on, a lot happened there in the last minute or two. Uh, looking at the recalculate, looking at the eco, uh, basically dead even. Kaiser up one villager, but he does have the two with trickles. Military pretty even here. But we have like 15 Zams trapped on an island <laughs> with <laughs> essentially no escape in sight right now. And uh, actually, wood upgrade coming in for Haz's villagers. So these guys are going to be gathering pretty efficiently. I believe that's 20%. Let's see. Oh, he's got two of them. <laughs> There's a team one. Yeah, 20% increased gather rate for wood. That's actually huge, especially since, like, it's going to help him get on the sea and, like, make a, you know, sea play war boom better because your villagers are actually be gathering wood pretty damn quickly. And he has this upgrade. Oh, boy. Yeah, they're probably going to be chopping very quick, actually. And look at these canoes now. Oh, we do have the first caravel trained for Kaiser, but there's a lot of canoes. Castle here, though. Has it not focusing the caravel just yet? Ooh, some must coming in for a raid. Oh, the Zams are on. The Zams are leaving. The Zams are getting back home safely. Snuck the, uh, the transport. And the Zams arrive back at home. Castle went down pretty quickly there. Could still clean up these villagers though. Surprised he doesn't put any coyotes. There we go. <laughs> the coyotes are coming. This castle's not. There we go. And this is a lot of villagers. I suppose this is what? Like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I think that's 11 villagers there. Oof, and they're all going to go down, it looks like. Oh, he's trying to sneak them into the caravel here. Caravel's really low HP though. Another caravel got trained. And the dock's almost do done now. Oh, he did really sneak like half the villagers though. Oh, good play by Kaiser. Let's see if they're going to be able to get away. Carol does go down. Meanwhile, a lot of action going on here. There's action everywhere. Villagers get in the Carol and sneak away. Very good save from Kaiser. They're saving about five bills. Oh, gotcha. 
drop him off. There we go. Yeah, I saved like six villagers there. Six. Oh, Kaiser actually winning this fight very heavily. Uh, Heisen needs to pull back here. And actually, a lot of the, the Zams were going down there because they were on the front line, but there's too many uh, Gurkha for these mace. Yeah, Heisen really needs to just back off here. So, you know, if you guys focus elsewhere, chopping off Coyotes here. We can use attacking on land. But yeah, we're just taking a lot of damage here. Meanwhile, Musket's still being a little bit annoying. Ooh, we did have a lot of Warrior Priest now. And we have the Water Dance. Water Dance card was ship. Coyote upgrade card was ship. Zam upgrade card was ship. Coyote's trying to get on top of the uh, Gurkha, but actually the Zam's finding them, and this is a lot of uh, Sepoy to lose. We're gonna find these villagers here as Kaiser kind of locked down this portion of the map, built the castle here. And Coyote's gonna get on the village, but they're gonna get completely cleaned up by the Zams here. And uh, maybe, oh, he's finding the low HP villagers. I think he maybe killed one vill, but lost like seven Coyotes there. Oh my god, we have like a oh, 32 HP, 51 HP. <clears throat> and now we got fishing boats coming out for Hazza. And like I said, he's got two, like he's got his villagers gathering wood very quickly. He's got the wood upgrade and he's got the wood card ship. So that's going to make his boat boom like really strong. It's going to help him get a lot of boats out. Kaiser now pushing the war hut here in the middle of the map. And uh, he's just going to take it down. Hazza, I think, is going to have to let it go. And he's actually trying to get there in time. Maybe allow the mace to get a shot, a shot or two off here. A couple of coyotes popping there. And another wood card! <laughs> oh god, these villagers are going to be chopping so damn quick. Just, man, let's look at this. Increases gather rate for, for wood by 20%. Increases gather rate for wood by 15%. And also, is is this one 15%? Or no, this one, I think it's more. Is this like 20%? Jeez, these villagers are going to be chopping like super quick, actually. And now we got fishing boats coming out since these villagers are going to be chopping so quick. Meanwhile, uh, Kaiser hasn't gotten sea at all, which kind of feels unfortunate. He, I mean, he has like two wood trickles, but uh, I guess has a, like has a C1, though, so it's, it's hard to do that. And wow, he's going to kill his stable, which will be annoying. Another castle going down. You can probably kill the stable house and like a consulate here. And look at that recalculated equal 71 to 56 now. He's fishing this fishing boat boom uh, really going for Hazza. Tiger Claws shipped here for Kaiser's and maybe go time for him. He may try to force a fight with the uh, Tiger Claws. Have two war hearts being built here though. And this is a really large India army actually. A military population is actually in favor of. Has it right now, but this India army looks extremely scary. A lot of coyotes now coming in, though. I don't know. Has it doesn't really want to fight this. He has the you know better eco. He's he's gonna go all in here, and this looks good for Kaiser. You're gonna need to fight there. They were walking a little bit. I think Kaiser's gonna ultimately win this. It's not gonna be. In, I mean, it is. It's gonna be actually kind of one-sided. Yeah, I don't. I didn't like this fight from Hazza. He should know that he has a much better eco. Um, and yeah, it seemed like a weird fight for Hazza to take there. Maybe not aware that you know his eco's you know, a lot better right now with his boat boom, and uh, he really should have just tried to buy more time. But he lost quite a bit there. I mean, he still has a decent amount of mace, so but a lot of more reinforcing Gurkha, and Hazza's gonna have to back off from this positioning. He may get some really large um, pops of units though, since his eco's quite strong in his three warhots here. He could like be getting some really good batches out. Stable does go down. Ooh, the lot of them got sniped from TC, it looks like. Oh my god, TC sniping every single one! <laughs> he lost like six canoes. Oh shit. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Oh, he was trying to kill a consulate and everyone got killed by the TCA. Except this one of 7 HP. Uh, and now Kaiser's gonna be able to start working on fishing boats. He has two wood trickles. Villagers running from muskets here. Oh my god, these games are so nuts on Indonesia. War Hut's going down. Coyote's gonna just find these guys and clean them up, but more villagers gonna go down before these muskets, at least one more. 
Probably get, get this one right here before muskets go down. Oh, trying to split it to get two. Is he gonna be? Oh, you guys get one there. Warheart does go down. Oh, and now these villagers are snared by the coyotes. Oh man, and Kaiser's entire army is very far away. He doesn't have that many Zams either. Oh, this is a lot of extremely exposed villagers for Kaiser here. Zams are rushing over, but not many Zams. And this is not Kaiser losing a lot of villagers here. And now the mates are here to deal with the Zams. Oh my god, Kaiser moving like his whole eco. And his Gurkha now trailing behind. A lot of villagers going down here though. I think has the mage just back off back off and be happy with that. Let's take a look at units lost. How many villagers went down in this game? 24 villagers lost for Kaiser Clan and 19 lost for Haza. Fish and boats moving across the map here. 81 villagers to 54. Spirit medicine. Well, I'm not an Aztec player, but I'm not sure what spirit medicine does. I guess it's another increases their gather rate. That's not a huh. Well, they do have uh, you know a second boat upgrade, but and then spirit medicine. We'll have to go to the chat <laughs> for information on spirit medicine. Guys, you're now pushing the blockhouses here. Has to trying to move in, force and engage. But Zams are here. Now mixing in Sours is the Sours are really upgraded. But I mean, Zams, uh, both, you know, with these cards on them. Coyotes are connecting though. Where's the Zams at? Where are the Zams? The Zams ran away too far here for Kaiser, and now the Coyotes are on top of the, of the Gurkha. And this is a lot of Aztec military. Sour's now popping out here. But those Zams are out of position, causing some of the Gurkhas to go down there. But at the same time, there's not much anti cav left for Hazza, and uh, if we continue to get more batches of, uh, of um, Sour's. That could be good. Some coyotes coming in though. All the sours are gone. A lot of exposed villagers. Another batch of um, another batch of coyotes, and I think the reinforcements will be just so much better for Hazza since he has such a better eco at this point. I think it's looking quite good for Hazza. And yeah, Kaiser tapping out, calling it. This Kaiser running out of resources on the map. Like this map has very far gold mines, so he had to go very far out. He doesn't have sea anymore, so he can't go on the island. Quite unfortunate there for uh, Kaiser. Good play by Hazard. This was a super entertaining one. Awesome game here. <laughs> Seeing some crazy cards coming in and just uh, always amazing play here on Indonesia with those villagers with like three wood upgrades. All right, so that is uh, gonna even it up right at two two. I didn't update the score yet, did I? Hazard won the last game, right? And uh. Wait, crap, did I have to? Hold on. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it should be 2 2. Let me. Last game was the Doc Dax game, and. Uh... Oh, man, I need to stretch after that. Oh, boy! Wow, that was a nuts one. Take a look at the post game stats here. Has it just out gathering once that C boom really kicked in? Saw a lot of crazy things that game. Yeah, it is 2 2 right now, right? Um, who's, the last game was uh, Adrian Dax and. Uh, well, has a has loss that one, right? But then Hazza won the, the Aztec Mirana to Silly. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All right, so we were tied 2 2. This is a best of seven. Let's go ahead and see what map we get here in game five.
All right, being played on man check again. Oof, this is a good finals so far. Pretty nuts one. Indonesia game, 2-2. Two -two. Man. All right, let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Kaiser Klein. Let's see what civilization Kaiser Klein gets here in game number five. Kaiser Klein getting the Russia civilization. And let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Hazza. Let's see what civilization Hazza gets here in game number five. Hazza getting the German civilization. All right, so Hazza used his respin. He used it in the last game where he had a Euro on Indonesia. He used the respin and he got Aztec on Indonesia, which was a very good use of the respin there. Ended up getting him the win there. Um, I think that was great for him. Kaiser still has his respin available. It is Russia versus Germany on Man Mankek. Um, so here we go. Looks like Kaiser's not going to respin. He's going to click into it. And uh, this is quite an interesting one. I think, I think Germany is favored in this matchup. Especially if it's a Woodstar, I think it's like re kind of really German favored. Um, if it's not a Woodstar, obviously it's that not um, you know it's much worse for Germany. But I think even without a Woodstar, they're probably still favored. But at the same time, this is a pretty aggressive map where the hunts aren't um, you know there's not a ton of hunt there. It's, it's everything's pretty far out there. So uh, Russia does have that going for them. So it's, it's um. It's a little hard to say. I think all in all, it, it is German favored, and and we'll have to see if it's a 200 wood start. That will be pretty significant. If it is 200 wood start, then that's really good for Germany. Uh, but it's it's not like super in favor of Germany. I, th I think it's still pretty even. Um, but yeah, we'll be getting into this one in just a minute here. And here we go, clicking into game five. All right, getting into game five here on this best of seven. We can play on Mankek. Series is currently tied two to two. Has does not have a respin available. Kaiser Klein still has his respin available. Up in the top, has the playing as a German civilization in the red. It is not a wood start. Uh, so that is good for Kaiser, bad for Hazza. Hazza is going to be forced to uh, not going to be able to build a training post in age one. Going to go for a market and hunting dogs instead, as I assume. And uh, down in the bottom, Kaiser Klein in the blue color playing as a Russia civilization. We'll have to see what chargers Hazza can get here. Finding a native charger, which is actually very nice, especially versus a rush. Every time you're playing versus an aggressive sieve, or you're or you're playing against a rush, natives can be really big. Because you're gonna be using them like right away, and you you can depending on how well you use them, you can get like so much worth out of a stealth native. So we'll have to see. Uh, pay close attention to this guy, Kaiserklein. If you're Kaiserklein, you see that has it just picked up this treasure. You gotta be. You gotta know. All right, I have to keep my explorer alive. My explorer has to find this guy. My my explorer is huge. I have to be super active with him, and I have to keep moving him around until I find and kill that native. Anytime you see your opponent get the native treasure, you gotta, gotta realize how important that just makes your explorer. Guys are working on 95 wood treasure, very nice one. Has a finding in 80 food here. And then also 60 wood over there. And another native just gonna help scout, obviously very nice. Has a, now getting into something dogs. Both players are going to get their treasures very safely. And the f unfortunate thing, though, is Hazza's Explorer is very low. He's only at 130 HP, and he still needs to build a training post. He's going to need to build that training post when, when he's going into you know transition age 2. Um, so like I said, it's very important. You do not want to lose your, your Explorer because you still need to build the training post. The training post is very, very close to your town center, though, so it's not like super relevant. 
and you can only you know use this other wagon worst case scenario um, it's it's more impactful when like the TP is further away from your TC but this one's actually very close so it wouldn't it wouldn't be like that much walking time or that bad for a solder wagon to build it but but still don't want to lose this guy oh native is getting spotted punching the um, Russia Explorer as he's going for this alligator just getting some nice extra hits on which is very nice for Hazza he's gonna be able to just punch him for free um, and then should just back off now before he gets there there you go good job um, putting a little extra damage so both players explorers are quite low here Let's take a look at the treasure game has a uh, got 20 coin 80 food and 60 wood Kaiser got 30 coins so the coins are basically even Kaiser up 10 uh, has out getting the native Kaiser getting 95 wood to the 65 wood and then Kaiser getting 75 food so uh, basically even um, Gold and foods were basically even. Kaiser getting a little bit more wood, but has it getting a native? So resource-wise, pretty even. Maybe Kaiser slightly ahead, but has it getting a native? Which I would say has a winning the H1 treasure game, since he got the native. Eighty food treasure in the middle of the map here. Both players now on their way up to H2, but very even H1 I'd say for most part. Like I said. Um, and yep, here we go. Hazard now going to be building his trading posts. Kept his explorer alive, as you would expect. Uh, native still running around. Kaiser Klein's going to be able to get this 80 food. <laughs> Alligator goes onto the villagers, forcing Kaiser to actually fight this. He, he really didn't want to do that. His explorer is actually quite low. He's actually going to have to pull the villagers in the punch. He was playing on hitting and running with the explorer. Ooh, barely gets it. Good job by Kaiser pulling the villagers there to, to punch the alligator. Uh, keeping the explorer alive there. Oh, and, and this is unfortunate. So his explorer is so low HP that, you know, it's going to make it easier for the for the native to be safe and not get killed. Hez is actually trying to track him down. Is he already he already knew Kaiser's explorer was low, and then he saw Kaiser getting another treasure, that 80 food charge. So he, he's probably like, man, that explorer's got to be super low. And, oh, the age up is coming in, but it's not going to be in time. I think the, oh, will it be in time? Nope, one more hit. One more hit? Oh, he goes down! <laughs> goes down. Oh, you have like two seconds for the age up there. But the Explorer does go down. Has it getting that XP? And now Kaiser's going to have to, you know, send a villager or something or a cat or something here to pick up this Explorer. So that's awesome for Hezza. Now he's able to put his, his uh, native in self mode, get a lot of information, not immediately under threat to the Explorer. Also has his Explorer there. You need to pull that guy back to see the blockhouse, though. And we have a stable coming back, coming down behind Hazel's TC here. Uh, pretty well built base with the trees. The trees are actually really nice. Um, kind of natural walls here that he has quite a bit. Could have put a house here, maybe. Going for a nice wood charger. And here we go. Three cellar wagon ship for Hazel. Five Cossacks for Kaiser and five muskets trained. Um, now pulling villagers into the town center. Ulans, you should really just raid with the Ulans. I don't like, unless if, all right, let's see if we're going to see a possible min-men call. So their wagon's tanking, one one regular villager goes down, Ulan's popping out here, and uh, yeah, that's why you don't really want to put regular villagers on the gold mine. That was a good job by Kaiser targeting it, targeting the regular, regular settler there. Muskets, um, ultimately, you know, chasing Kaiser back. Let's take a look at units lost there. Ooh, the muskets do go down, and now actually losing the Cossacks to the... Yeah, I think this is bad for Kaiser. Losing all the Cossacks there, that's actually quite unfortunate. Uh, that was, I don't know, Kaiser should have got out there, I think. Uh, four Ulans went down, and a Villager for five muskets and five Cossacks. Honestly, like, that's that's really good for Hez, I'd say. Like, you're up Eco, you're up three Villagers. Like, yeah, you lost one Villager, not... You know, you don't want to lose any Villagers, obviously, ideally, but... All you lost was four Ulans. Like, that, that's a win for Germany there. Does lose the Explorer right there. Seven hundred wood coming out for Hazza here.
He could have potentially, it's interesting, like one to ship the wood and one to ship the gold. He could have potentially, since he held that aggression already like really significantly, he could have made, perhaps went for the 700 gold, like not really trained any units and just squeezed in that age up, which I think would have been better to be honest. But it would, it would have been like, nah, I don't know, it would have been slightly risky, but then you'd be age three and getting like, uh, I don't know, I, I think it would have been a little better to just squeeze in the age up, even though, um, and then like send villagers kind of further to like gather some stuff. Uh, but no, ship, ship the wood. And, oh look at this dude. I'm not sure if he picked off the villager there. He has the native. Um, Noel Kaiser did a good job putting the villagers inside, but it did deny the blockhouse actually. And, okay, now the explorer is back. But uh, Kaiser, like I said, he wasn't being active with his explorer. He should know that that um, has, has a, a scout. And it costed him blockhouse for, for for not being active. Oh, big raid! Actually, just one villager, but still. Oh. And it's native getting so much information, seeing a second blockhouse come down. He's going to see some reinforcing muskets here. Crosswoman, all oh, targeting the muskets here. Nice, saving the trading post here. Ulan's actually sieging this house, which is actually really nice. It's kind of weird. You don't see that very often, but going to kill a house like for free. And uh, meanwhile, this is going good for Hazza. Continuing to get the muskets. Saving the trading post. Just reinforcing batches of muskets. Barracks going down for Hazza. Oh, and catching... Oh my god, catching the Cossacks. Very good trades here for Hazza. Kind of a weird stuff by Kaiser. Like, he saw that there was, like, a lot of Ulans sieging the house. And then he sent, like, five Cossacks that direction. So, uh, definitely a big slip up there by Kaiser. Losing two Cossacks and uh, one 3 HP and the other, you know, half HP. Four Cossacks shipped. Oh, sorry, I'm go back to the shipments. And, yeah, Hazel's going to age up. He's probably has 700 wood on the way here. He's re and he'll be looking to age up. And Hazel's going to be in a good spot. Ulan's moving back in for another raid. Only three Cossacks here. <laughs> so there's a 700 coin from Hazza. He needs to gather this like ASAP though. Like he's at, this is a bit of a mistake. Like he needs to know how urgent it is to get up to H3. Like he should have had like five Slayer Wagons on this gold. This gold should like already be gathered. So like he can be aging right now. Like it's every second's huge, you know? And look now the gold's gonna like basically get denied. Potentially, Minmen being called here. Um, see, we'll see if he's gonna be okay here. Minmen trying to target down the Cossacks. Ulans, so many Ulans away. Oh my God! Now the crossbow men are getting. Oh wow! That da pop, that da pop, that was big. And that's gonna that's gonna save. Uh, yeah, that saves Haza and Kaiser uh, tapping out. GG realizes that da pop saved it. Um, even with all the Ulans away. Yeah, that was looking good. I mean, either way, you, even if Kaiser didn't push in, he kind of had to push in. Like, he was just losing a lot of, like, trades throughout that game. And, uh, like, yeah, Kaiser was maybe say, saying, like, he, what a waste of units. But, like, what was the alternative? Him, like, not pushing there and then has it being up in H3, like, right now. And, you know, getting H3 shipments. Like, you can't let that happen. Like, Kaiser was just in an unfortunate position where, like, he had to basically push. And uh, he almost, it almost worked out. Just adopts training at the right time. Um, save save Hazza right there. That, that would have potentially been really bad with all the Ulans very far away. And uh, those Cossacks were on top of the, the Expos there. But the Dops coming right there at, at a, like kind of just the right time. Uh, so Hazza going up 3-2 to two here. Game point for Hazza. Let's take a look at the post-game stats here. All resources gathered. Kaiser out gathering by quite a bit, actually. But yeah, he took a lot of bad trades. Um, I think has kind of just better army control. Wow, we have 230 people watching right now. Holy. Wow, that is awesome. 
Well, welcome everybody. Um, and we're, we're going to get into this next game in a second here, but uh, if, you, if you guys have been enjoying the stream today and just like, you know, the entire um, subscriber tournament that I put on, uh, you know, please leave a follow, guys. I've been, you know, trying to grow my Twitch channel, putting a lot of work into that and my YouTube channel. I'll, pull, I'll post a link to my YouTube channel real quick in chat. Uh, I put all the tournament matches on my YouTube channel, and it's like nice and really organized, easy to, uh, you know, easy to find them and stuff. So, if you guys want to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on here. I really appreciate it, man. Like I said, I've been putting a lot of work into just, you know, growing as a streamer and stuff. Uh, a lot of work in like my YouTube channel. Uh, doing these sub tournaments, which you know is a ton of fun to me, um, but obviously it can be quite a bit of work at the same time. And uh, yeah, it's awesome though to um, to see the support though. Yeah, it's great. DJ spin that shit. Right, let's see what map we get here in game number six. All right, I think that was a YouTube sub. I appreciate it. I don't know why. I, I still need, I need to figure that out. For whatever reason, when somebody subscribes to my YouTube channel, I get like a sub alert. And it, it's a different alert. Like I, I have a, a, a different alert for a Twitch sub. Right? Yeah, for a Twitch sub. When I get a Twitch sub, like I, I have a alert that I want. But um, when, I, when somebody subscribes to me on YouTube, for whatever reason, I still get the alert. But anyways, thank you for that. I still have to look into that. All right, let's see what map we get here. All right, game six we played on Grand Chaco. All right, this is do or die for Kaiser. Kaiser yet to win a GUA sub tournament. He's made it into the late rounds of many of these, but has not won one yet. Um, is perhaps, uh, I mean, obviously he does really good, but perhaps the sip pool is not quite as large as uh, I don't know, the other players. I mean, he's always super close, but um, let's get into this. So Kaiser still has his respin available. Hazard does not. This is going to be game six. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for Kaiser. Let's see what civilization Kaiser line gets here in game six. This is a no TP map, so this could be big. Save spin. Kaiser Klein civilization here. Game six. Kaiser Klein getting the Japan civilization. He is not going to be happy about that. <laughs> He's going to be really mad right now. He's going to use this respin here, I would assume. Kaiser Klein getting Japan. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for has a let's see what civilization has a gets here in game number six. Has a getting India. <laughs> Kaiser does definitely tilt. All right, so we have Japan versus India. Kaiser still has his respin available. Is he going to take Japan versus India, or is he going to go with the respin? <laughs> Kaiser saying, hey, man, he, he's upset about the sims. He gets a lot, but, um, I mean, it's the same for everybody, and it's just he's really good at, you know, a handful of sims, but I guess the other sims not, you know, super good, so... So, you know it's on him, but <laughs> what will Kaiser do? Is he gonna click in with Japan? I man, ah, Ooh, I feel like I don't know. I mean, what are your options? It's a rough doing a respin on a, on a no TP map. Like you don't want to get Ottoman or like even. I don't know, like uh, German. There's quite a bit of civs you don't want to get, but I would respin here. Oh, Kaiser not going to respin. He's risking it. Kaiser saving his respin. Doesn't want to get screwed get, getting a really bad civ on an OTP map. But like you said, he's got a good civ here, but he's just not familiar with Japan. Uh, but saving the respin. Uh, didn't want to roll the dice. Did not want to roll the dice for the respin. So, getting 
Getting into game six here in this best of seven. This is it. This is do or die for Kaiser. Kaiser has to win this game to survive. I think we found Kaiser's uh, um, kryptonite. <laughs> Host the tournament and make it random sieves. This is Kaiser's kryptonite. <laughs> He's been dominant in like so many tournaments. I mean, he, obviously he's still going to like the finals of this, but uh, he, he hasn't been able to win one of, win one of my sub tournaments yet. All right, here we go. So down in the south, we have Kaiser Klein in the blue playing as the Japan civilization, and up in the north, has in the red playing as the India civilization. Um, so this is gonna be a good one, I think. Like Kaiser is, you know, saying he's not that um, experienced with Japan, but at the same time, I don't think has a super experience with India. But let me, let me know in the chat. You guys will know better. Is has a an India player or is he not? I feel like he doesn't play India too often, so I think both of these players may be a bit out of their element. Uh, India is a pretty damn good sieve on this map because there's a lot of hurtables. Uh, but at the same time, I think Japan's really good too because it's it's a very large map and like hurtables are you know also good for Japan. And you could like shrine boom like crazy on this map. It's really large, which can get Japan into the late game. So oh no, I think like I mean I don't know. This might be a Japan favorite map to be honest. I think it's it's a good map for like both of these civs. Consulate going down for Kaiser here. Building his cherry orchard. Is you do get, only get one cherry orchard though, so that may be kind of shitty for Japan. And you do have three berry bushes. Um, actually, are three berry bushes more? People usually say that maybe on this map, three, no, this is 4,000, and then what this is, 3,000. So yeah, you're losing 1,000 food. Um, all right, a lot of heritables here for Haz. He's got six, two Kaiser Declines, two. Shrine need to be built so that's you know less walking around wow. time with your explorers. Wow. Cherry Orchard now being built here. 70 wood treasure. So you look at the treasure game. Uh wow, well, okay, nobody had it. Nobody we're two minutes into a game, people, and there has not been a single treasure taken. Alright. <laughs> Going heavy for those herbals. But has a now getting a 70 wood treasure, which is very nice. And uh, Kaiser are getting a hundred food, which is also really, really nice. All right, so what are you guys' thoughts? We'll go one. Who do you think is going to win this game? Type one for Haza and type two for Kaiser Klein. If you guys think Haza is going to win, type one. If you guys think Kaiser Klein is going to win, type two. Cena, Cena mix here. Saw a lot of ones at first. Now seeing quite a bit of twos. Pretty well mixed here. Yeah, pretty about half and half there. All right, what is going on here? 100 XP treasure in the middle of the map. We do have the port consulate. 300 wood, what? What? 300 wood, what? Uh-huh. Guys, Klein shipping 300 wood. Usually, you see the Karni Mata, or the Heavenly, Heavenly Kami, is it? What the hell is it called? Heavenly Kami. Wow, he doesn't even have it in his deck. I feel like that was maybe a mistake, because now that it gives away that has a nose, he's like, for sure not doing that build. I feel like you should maybe still have it in your deck. He does have Colonial Militia. But wow, so he's not going to Shrine Boom, and I guess he's really worried about, like, India aggression, which I don't think he really should be. Oh, and wow, he's doing, oh my gosh, he's doing the Wonder with the Samurai, isn't he? The Samurai and the Rickshaw. So he's playing aggressive Japan here, which, honestly, I, I don't like. This is just really a large map with a ton of hunt. I think this is the map where you Shrine Boom like crazy and, like, try to go H4 and get, like, insanely strong Japan army. I don't think this is the map where you go aggressive. But, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see how it works out for Kaiser. We have two villagers. Like, how are you even going to siege down an Agra? Two villagers building Agra. It's not a super forward one. It's, you know, middle of the map. Maybe closer on Hazza's side. So, it looks like Hazza's maybe going to play, like, more defensive. While, like, Kaiser's going to play more, like... Oh, wait, no. What am I saying? Wow, why did it look so small? Okay, so it is the regular, uh... It is the regular 
wonder. It looked, I don't know, when it was getting constructed, it looked like it was the, the other one with the rickshaw and the samurai, but okay, that, the, at least that makes more sense. Um, Kaiser's going for the standard wonder here, but he did not ship um, Heavenly Kami, he shipped 300 wood, so that's also weird. And he also, like, built, he also didn't build this on Hunt. <laughs> he has, like, two hurdles on it, but it's not built on a Hunt. I'm I'm just conf I'm a bit confused here. Uh, to be honest, I'm a little confused. And he's he's going with the barracks right away, so um, he's worried about some aggression. Take a look at text completed. Was Hasley working on? Uh, he has civil servants and hunting needles. And now Kaiser on Japan consulate, so he's going aggressive. And yeah. I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't like this. I don't like this build from Kaiser. Maybe he's not like super experienced with like the Wally, -E, like late, you know, heavy shrine boom Japan style. Uh, I don't think Kaiser's a huge fan of walls, so maybe he's just didn't want to go for that. But I don't know. I think that was the way to go on this map. It's such a large map. Infantry units you know, would take a long time to like cross the map, go from one shrine to the next, and you know, Japan can just boom heavy, but. Uh, no, we're not seeing that. We're seeing Kaiser go very aggressive here, shipping 600 wood even. Making Yumi, getting Clubman out already. Only at 90 shrine population. Has the shipping export here. Looking at has his villagers, he's got a couple upgrades here. And uh, he's going to want to build his consulate, building his consulate. So it looks like Hess is actually going for like an all-in push himself. He's, he's doing a consulate push, it looks like, which is good that Kaiser is going all-in himself. Like, Kaiser is kind of countering Hess's build. But, like, they're both going all-in. Like, it would have been better if Hess had went eco-focused because, like, I don't think there's really any way for Kaiser, like, to push this aggro. Yeah, I think Hazard could have afforded to go more eco. I mean, he could still ship, like, uh, the villagers, but I don't... I don't know, it looks like he's going for like a timing push. Pretty soon. But, well, potentially not. Maybe he'll just continue to see on shrines. So he is training a lot of units, getting these units out pretty early here. Uh, we'll have to see. A couple more shrines being built. Recalculate eco, about that even. Actually, Kaiser up two, three, four. Yumi's moving out, gonna try to catch some of these units. Foreign logging coming in for Hazard, so now Hazard is playing in more eco focus actually. And let's see, does he go with the. It looks like maybe he did go with the villagers. Yeah, villagers from the Ottoman consulate, so Hazard did actually go more eco focus. I thought he was gonna go for like the, the Hussars and like go for a push, but uh, no, he actually went for the villagers from the Ottoman consulate and he shipped um, foreign logging, so. And he's just continuing to seize on shrines. Oh, looks like these two elephants are going to get caught, though, which is going to be a nice little pickup. Well, actually, never mind. There's only not many units. <laughs> and uh, we'll have to see if any cab pop out. I and mean, there's five clubmen here. Four villagers now shipped for Kaiser. Gurkha versus Yumi. Elephants can oh, elf One elephant does go down. Trying to get on top of Yumi's. I don't know if that's really a call. Yumi's trying to escape as much as it can. Elephant does go down, kind of, I don't know. Oh, may lose the explorer though. Poof, poof. He doesn't poof in time. Seaport getting on top of the shrines. And, I don't know, quite an interesting one. Both, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Interesting one. Uh, India planet, I guess pretty India f normal. Just sieging shrines, still going kind of heavy boomy. And it looks like he's mac. I think he's macroing for an age up now. Actually, I think we're. I think we're gonna see six hundred coin come in, and India go H three. And Kaiser looks like he's fully committed to H two, so I th may have a timing window where Kaiser can push. Yeah, has it definitely going for the age up? He's got the food for the age up. Six hundred coin. Uh, uh, yep, just arrived. Yumi are getting some. I mean, I guess semi even trades here. Probably probably better for the Yumis. There are a decent amount of Gurkha actually there. Oh, Guard Hussars, Guard Hussars. Only five Clubmen. Oh, boy. 
as is like aging though or about to be aging so i don't know yumi yumi are anti-cav themselves so the ant yumi are just dealing with the hussars because you know they're anti-cav but there's still a lot of uh has a units now more yumi coming in and um yeah has a now aging up himself kaiser very you know just hey he's stuck in h2 and he's just continuing to make Yumi. Um, he's behind in score by quite a bit. Meanwhile, Hez is just aging right now. Um, Hez is up three villagers. He's behind in military, though. But yeah, I think this looks good for Hez. Kaiser's going to have to make something happen, like, really soon. He's going to see that age up. I mean, he could still have, a, like, a timing window to push. 600 coin coming in for Kaiser, so we'll have to see if he can turn this into a lot of units and uh, and make a you know a push. I mean, it still has his like well, he's got a lot of villagers building the wonder, and it's about halfway now up to H3, uh, getting a hundred food treasure, kind of nice there. Kaiser being too passive though, not realizing has his aging. And uh, Haz is going to be up to H3 here in a little bit. Kaiser's going to probably be quite frustrated when he sees this age up. And probably will force Kaiser to go all in here. Oh god, is he going to have to ship? He's going to have to ship to the Cherry Orchard. That's going to be painful. Oh, oh, he's got 2,000 left there. I thought that was left. Yeah, it lost. He's got 2,000. And there's the age up. Did have a batch of 10. Ashley's being trained, and it is go time for Kaiser. Will he make be able to make something happen? No, he shipped the Daimyo here. So this is it. Uh, this is Kaiser's push. Daimyo, a lot of military units, but, I mean, Hazus still has a pretty large military himself, and uh, um, I don't know. We'll see. It's you know it's always so tough to push on an Agra. And the single Maha getting in position here. He's going to try to siege this Agra down right away. He does have quite a bit of, you know, of um, Musketeers, the single clubman, which is actually pretty nice. But we'll have to see what's going to pop off for Hazza here. Big engage, Daimyo tanking some shots from backing off. Mahout's really low right now. And uh, Hazza taking this fight, forcing it, saving the aggro. There's Yurumi. Pretty nice pull, pulling the units away from the Yurumi as much as he can, using the, uh, kind of distracting some of the Yurumi here. But Yurumi now getting on top of the muskets and just a lot of uh, units behind the Yurumi at the same time. Both sets of min-men being called here. Daimyo goes down, and this just looks good for Hazza. He's up in age, he's up military, he's up e he's well, he goes about even, but... Uh, not looking good for Kaiser. And that's it. Kaiser taps out. And there we go. We have a champion. Hazza taking this series 4-2. to two. Ah, Hazza getting him. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Hazza saying I'm lucky I no more sieves. That's true, man. That's true. Um, yeah, I really didn't like the way Kaiser played this. Like I said... I think um, I think uh, Kaiser should have played this more uh, boomy, boom focused, and just trying like crazy, like you know, make walls and just play the late game Japan. But uh, he played it like very aggressive, and I just I don't like it. I don't think I didn't expect this to work at all, unless if like Kaiser played super aggressive himself. But I think Kaiser played it basically perfectly, and uh, and Kaiser, yeah, it's not like in his his build. Well, there we go. That is it. That is a wrap up to the GUA December 2019 subscriber tournament. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody watching. Everybody that donated. Everybody that subscribed. Just everybody even watching. Um, thank you guys. You guys, you know, obviously wouldn't be possible without all of you guys. So uh, really appreciative. And yeah, I had a blast with this one. I think I think every all of viewers and everybody did uh, had a great time with this entire. Uh, tournament had a lot of games every that, that I streamed that I casted and putting all of them up on my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, hell, hell of a tournament, people! Hell of a tournament. 
Check out post game stats here, real quick. All of us gathered, has out gathering him just kind of slightly. But that is it. That is going to be it for this one. I'm going to wrap this up. I'll definitely put this up on YouTube. So I'm going to wrap up the YouTube video here. That's it for this tournament. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching the entire tournament, watching this video. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Woo.